Hey guys, this is Dr. Shivam signing in and we are going to study a very important topic and very recent one for your re, uh, coming aims in PGI examination known as tyroids. So up till now you were knowing biroids for breast carcinoma. This one is tyroids for thyroid nodule evaluation. Full form is thyroid imaging reporting and data system. Now this is a reporting system for the evaluation of thyroid nodules based upon the ultrasonographic characteristic given by the American College of Radiology. That is why it is also called ACR Thyroids, American College of Radiology Thyroid Imaging Reporting and Data System. Now this classification is based upon five categories, namely the composition, ecogenicity, shape, margin, and the ecogenic foci in the thyroid nodule. Now finally, we are going to classify them as TR1 with 0 point, TR2 with 2 points, TR3 with 3 points. So it is easy, na? TR1 0, TR2 is 2, TR3 is 3 point, TR4 is 4 to 6 point and TR5 is anything equal to or greater than 7 points. Now from where these points are coming? These points are coming from this different 5 categories. From each category we have to choose any one of the following like in composition if we see the nodule as solid or almost completely solid, we will give that nodule two points. If we see it as mixed cystic and solid, we will give it as one point in the category of composition. Then we will move to the ecogenicity and look for the ecogenicity of the nodule. If it is very hypoechoic, we will give it three points. If it is just hypoechoic, we will give it two points. In the similar way, hyper or isoechoic is 1 point and echoic is 0 point. Another thing which you need to mind is, as the points or the score increases, the chances of malignancy in that nodule also increases. Coming to the shape, a taller than wider has 3 points and wider than taller has 0 point. That means a nodule which is taller than wider has more chances of malignancy than a wider than taller nodule margin if it has extra thyroidal extension three points lobulated or irregular two points ill defined zero smooth is zero now depending upon this point and the categories we have given we will classify classify them as tr1234 and then we'll decide whether our patient need fnac evaluation or not that means we are doing this classification for the sole purpose of deciding whether our patient need further fine needle aspiration cytology or not or just a ultrasonography follow up or we can leave that nodule considering as benign or not suspicious so uh, the last one is left is still left that is the ecogenic foci if punctate ecogenic foci seen in the nodule 3 point peripheral or rim calcification 2 points micro calcification 1 point and comet tail artifact is 0 so you can note it down to get uh, or you can listen the video again to get all the points because it has many many different categories so it might be confusing for the first time if you listen it first time now after the categories we will come to the FNAC now the sole purpose was to decide whether we are doing FNAC or not so TR1 and TR2 that means up till two points we are not doing any FNAC now when we come to TR3 that is three points now TR3 was three points that is mildly suspicious we have to see the size of our nodule if it is 1.5 centimeter less equal to or less than we will just follow up if it is greater than or equal to 2.5 centimeter we are going to do the FNEC in the similar way for TR4 where the points are from 4 to 6 we will see the size now the size condition or the have more become more strict that is 1 centimeter less than equal to we are just follow it up and if it is 1.5 centimeter we are going to do the FNA for TR5 where the score is 7 or greater than 7 we are doing the FNA for even 1 centimeter nodule <coughs> and follow up for 0 0.5 centimeter, 0 0.5 centimeter. Now in some time biopsy is also recommended if the lesion from TR3 to TR5 have exceeded the size criteria then 
you need to do the biopsy and if there are multiple nodules then how you will consider will you take the biopsy from everyone no you will take the biopsy from two nodules with the highest acr tyrad grades so you are going to take the biopsy from any two nodule which have highest tyrads classification other thing to note here is that <coughs> ki if you get multiple nodules that is greater than 4 then only the four highest scoring nodule are needed to be evaluated not necessarily the largest but any four you can evaluate and assess okay so this was about the acr tyrads classification of which up till now you were knowing the name only but now you know ki which all categories are there and in in the exam they may particularly mention the categories like which of the following categories are there in tyrads classification for thyroid nodule and which are not present so this was just to give an idea and you can note it down and uh, put it in your revision copy so that you can revise when your exam comes near so this was uh, this this is dr shivam signing off and thank you all for your patient listening